Hello guys, hello, my name is Yelena, welcome back to my channel. Today let's do camel cake. So I'm gonna show you how I'm making buttercream camel. It's a little tricky, but really it's easy if you get idea how to do it. So here's, I already started pre-ice my cake and I iced it. I usually pre-ice it as one of the colors of the camo and usually it's the lighter color because then it will be easier to layer all the other colors over it to create our camo, okay? So here's kind of um, olivey, sagey green I have and I iced it really, really thin. In fact, you can pretty much, some places you can see my cake through little crumb coat showing up here and there, the, here little cake showing up but what I did is I evened it out so the cake is nice and straight the top is level and the sides are straight as well it's just not as thick as you would usually do and the reason behind of this is because by the time we layer our other colors I don't want it to look chunky Okay, I don't want it to look thin. Uh, I don't want it to look thick. Um, and that way, we start thin and we layer, like I can layer other color over this thin spot and blend it in and it will look very nice, okay? And I already start pre-coloring my other colors. So this camera will have this golden brown color. And I put this, you can keep other colors in the bag or you can keep them somewhere like on the palette or I put on a paper plate, okay? So I have this golden brown, chocolate brown, hunter green, and gonna have some black, all right? And here's again, I start from lighter to dark. So let's start with our golden brown and let's just create some spots. And you just do it like that. Again, not too thick. And you can use your spatula. Try to smear it. Or if it's small spot, you can use this artist palette knife. And you can find this in any craft store and they come in different shapes and sizes. So you can just pick the one you like, the one that feels good in the hand. And it has also angled just like your spatula, only it's a little daintier, a little smaller, okay? So either or, so spread the spot, take your palette knife, like so, or spatula, exact same way, and again, see how it's thin? So I'm trying to go as thin as I can, but still color my base color, okay? So here it's getting too thin, so we'll just go back and add a little bit. And if you want edge nice and clean, not like mine, so you just go back, pipe your edge first, and then when you smear it, just be very careful. Just try to keep your edge like that. All right, and fill it the middle. See, so that looks pretty good. And then again, this is crusting buttercream. So always use paper towel. If you lay over it. Again, there's a rough side that will leave you texture or the smooth side, that's the one we need. So lay over and lightly, gently smooth it out, just like that. And see how it looks nice and thin. We don't have chunky, the top's still flat, we don't have any raises. So that's the look we're going for, all right? So now the same idea and I'll just continue to go down the sides and again continue with my lighter color first.
all right so i think i'm good with the lighter color so let's do brown and brown i just have it on a piece of plate so i'll just show you how i make that so you can mix it up so whichever way you feel more comfortable and let's do this one over the edge so I'll start on top of the cake just like that again make sure your edges are thin then I'll go right over the edge just like that and come down and so that's where it's a little tricky part so it's really still the same easy but it gets tricky because the place is not exactly comfortable just like that And then take your paper towel and of course this is over the edge so we'll do it exact the same do the side and over the edge smooth it out that way all right it's a little out of my angle here guys so I'm gonna put on this side because I'm a righty <laughs> Here we go, see? Nice and even, and if you look, there's not that much of the color stick out on the side. Still keep it nice and flat. Now let's do dark green and I put this back in the bag. I think I like it in the bag better. It's just faster. It start taking me too long. All right. All right, and now I'm making just random spots. Go back and spread it out. Again, just don't rush it, take your time. Now, if you're using butter-based, uh, completely butter-based icings like Italian meringue buttercream, Swiss meringue buttercream, Russian buttercream even, um, you can do one coat and put it in the fridge for a little bit. That way it chills for you. Take it out, do another color. And when a chilled cake, you don't have to worry that much about icing underneath moving because of course it will be nice and cold for you and the butter solidifies in the fridge but because this is crusting icing if i put it in the fridge cool off and then take it out and start to do something all i will get is a bunch of wrinkles on top of this so just keep this in mind unfortunately that's what we have to do 
if you're using American style icing with butter and shortening or completely all shortening. So just need to be a little more patient and just aware of what's your icing doing underneath. So if you see it's dragging, don't drag, stop. All right, and now last color, let's do black. So I'll start with the message first. Okay, and then I printed out this picture, the deer silhouette, and I laid it on top of the black fondant and then I just cut out. So this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna put this right on top. So let's just take it off carefully and center it. Like that. And we're going to do the same color borders. It will be orange. Just a simple dot border. Alright guys, hopefully you like my new video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Bye, love you so much.